when we add integers with counters there are a few other things that we should consider and I'll cover them in this video. We'll often look at these two problems here. Again, you might pause the video and think about what do they have in common? What's different? Well, another thing to think about is the order in which you're adding. And the great thing about adding is that order doesn't matter. In fact, these are equal. If you add negative one to three, you get two. And if you add three to negative one, you also get two. Because in both cases, what happens? These positive and negative counters cancel. And in both cases, what's left over are these two positive counters. The answer is two, no matter what order you look at it in. Another thing to think about is that you can use counters for larger sums. It's not that you're necessarily going to take 105 counters and set them up or draw them out for positive 105, or that you're going to do the same for negative 100. That would be impractical. You might do it, I suppose, if you really want to. But the idea is you can picture in your mind, once you understand the model, how to deal with a problem like this. You can start to think, okay, 105 is just 100 positive counters, and that will cancel out with the 100 negative counters I have, and what's left over must be the answer. All of this zeroes out. That's a zero pair. And what's left is the answer to your problem. It's five. It's right there. But if you really enjoy this model, you can start to make different types of counters for different number values. For example, you can maybe make a bigger counter that represents 100, and that would cancel out with that negative 100. There's lots of ways to do it. Now, I would just finish by telling you to set up or draw counters any way you want. They don't have to be circles. They don't have to even be drawings. They could be pennies. Heads could be positive, tails could be negative. If you're drawing them, they don't need to be circles. They can be colors or little signs. You could also think about using characters. Think of maybe ninjas battling or fighting aliens where maybe the negative signs are aliens or superheroes versus villains where they cancel each other out. Picture it in a way that makes sense to you. You should even consider having fun with it. Maybe you make little sound effects every time a plus or a minus cancels and you draw a little line or you circle it. Give it a sound effect, a little pew or something to make sense of the model in a way that matters to you. This model should work for you because it can go a really long way. All right, I hope this helped.